In this lecture, I'm going to give you an exercise to practice what you learn in this section. Your exercise in this section will be to generate and plot what I call the generalized XOR dataset. So why do I call this the generalized XOR? Well, if you have a computer science or engineering background, then you have already heard of the XOR. It is a logic gate. It does a logical operation, like the AND, OR, and NOT gates. We can write down the XOR using a truth table, where X1 and X2 are the inputs and Y is the output. If X1 and X2 are both 0, then Y is 0. If either X1 or X2 is 1, but not both, then Y is 1. If X1 and X2 are both 1, then Y is again 0. The reason we call this the XOR, which stands for exclusive OR, is because it differs from the regular OR operation, in that the last row would be a 1 with the regular OR. Now, of course, if we plotted this, it would just be four dots, which is not that exciting. What looks a little better is randomly scattered points, such as what you would see in a machine learning data set. So if we split the data into four quadrants, then the upper left and bottom right corner will have one color, and the upper right and bottom left corner will have another color. Your job is to generate this data and make a scatter plot like what you see here. Just to make it a little harder, notice that these quadrants are defined between minus 1 and plus 1, not 0 and 1. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next lecture.